As we all know that compositing is an important and final part to give your render that wow element. Compositing also acts as a roof to complete your render and allows you to add effects in a hackable way. But most of us just leave it as the hard work which we do in lighting, materials and modeling makes us think that compositing won't do anything. But this is not the case. We actually do not do much compositing because of the way it is actually set up. The nodes are the limiting factor. Although the nodes present in Blender's compositor are really powerful, but understanding and using them becomes a pain. And when you have a large node setup, you don't even get a clear preview of your render. This is what made me think, why do we like using other softwares and photo editing apps to do the post-production? The answer is automation and ease of use, yet being powerful. We like using photo editing apps as it allows us to work creatively and in a procedural manner. So I thought, why don't we incorporate this into Blender itself? Introducing Enrich Enrich is a Blender add-on that sits in the image editor and allows you to do the post-production of your render visually. The add-on comes with pre-designed presets which are like color filters that can transform the looks of your image. So once you have rendered your image, you can quickly go through these presets and find the right effect for your scene. These presets really make the Enrich add-on do what it is supposed to do, automation and ease of use. The Enrich add-on also comes with various photo editing options like temperature, vibrance, exposure. These are useful when you want to control a specific element in the render. Most of the options are designed to control those factors which are not by default inside Blender. There's even advanced controls like mist, defocus, tinting and even more. The add-on comes with Enrich Panel which is a dynamically coded interface that updates on how your scene updates. It is carefully designed to bring the essential tasks to the front. The notification system allows you to quickly solve a problem which might be occurring in your scene. If there's a new version for the add-on, Enrich would itself notify you to update it. To keep the interface non-cluttered, it comes with two variants. Simple interface for beginner users, advanced interface for advanced users with in-depth compositing. Both these interfaces are really powerful and allow you to customize your render based on your liking. But what if you don't find the presets in this add-on useful? Well, I wanted the Enrich add-on to be completely user-friendly. That's why it also allows you to create custom presets for the add-on. So once when you have created a node group for your preset, you can install this in the add-on with a click of a button. Just select the thumbnail or the icon file and it's done. No need to go through any code or files, it is all automated. Once a preset is installed, you can use it in any scene with the add-on itself. So how is Enrich add-on visual? The way Enrich add-on is designed is in a way to give you fast preview of the final render. So you don't have to move around the nodes for the preview, it's all in the image editor. This visual tool is also designed to a comparison between how your render looked previously and how it looks after compositing. The Enrich add-on is a complete toolkit for post-production inside Blender. Once when you get the add-on, you'll always get all the updates for this add-on plus the video documentation guide to help you whenever you are stuck. So get the Enrich add-on today and experience the photo style editing workflow directly inside Blender.